Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here. Today I thought I'd bring you a Capture One video uh, working with the Keystone tool or straightening uh, and cropping your images. So I run into a problem today with this image that I was working on and it involved a little bit of a kind of next level keystoning. So I thought I would discuss that, the process I had to go through and how to use those tools, tools inside of Capture One. Now Lightroom has similar tools. Uh, but there's a few things inside of Capture One I think are a bit more powerful than are available inside of Lightroom. And I really needed those tools to solve this problem. Uh, so I have a picture of Jennifer here uh, from a trip uh, to Oklahoma I took to visit my friend Gary Box. And uh, I shot this slightly off center because there were a few of us shooting at the same time. And uh, so I'm not mad at myself because I've got a perspective issue. Uh, I'm low to the floor. So obviously I have a, a third point perspective where my perspective is going up and narrowing as it approaches the ceiling. I have, it's a bit crooked and I'm also not straight on to her. So I'm a little bit to her right. Uh, so my, th this area is kind of right in front of me. So I have to fix this problem because publishing an image like this would annoy me to no end. Uh, so one of the more common tools inside of Capture One is your straightening tool. And uh, rather than going up here and use this, I just use a shortcut of R and it will give you the reticle here and you just kind of click on something that you know is going to be horizontal and let off and boom. Uh, that is normally what you would do and that would solve your problem. Now, obviously in this case, that isn't gonna fly, but uh, crooked pictures just bug me. So you know, I see people who up upload landscape photos that are slightly crooked. Uh, the, the rule in my mind is it's either really crooked or not crooked. Like you can't have a almost straight picture. That doesn't make sense. So let's talk about the keystoning tool. So those are available up here and they're also available in the keystoning menu, which uh, by default is in the lens dialog here. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab the vertical keystoning tools. And what I did is I tried to arrange them along a see vertical lines and you wanna get them as far apart as you can uh, so they're more accurate. Cause if you're like this and you can have a dickens of a time. So I think getting them far apart is, is just a better option. So let's say we do this thing and it doesn't matter where they are, uh, as long as they're both vertical. And the farther apart they are, I think the better you're probably off uh, because you're able to get a more accurate straightening. So if we did this and there's a big giant apply button in the middle of the screen, and you click that and there we go. Now, it's not quite right though, uh, because it's still crooked. So again, if we use our R tool and straighten the image, well, it's already straight. So, we have a keystoning both horizontal and vertical. And uh, there's a tool for that. And that's right here. This is both. Uh, so this allows you to take and draw a square. Uh, so we can find places where there are verticals and horizontals that come together. Now, not every image is gonna have an amazing tile floor or like this one have a really nice wall where you can go and find, you know, just the right spot to line it up. And, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a challenge. So you kind of have to eyeball it in some cases like that. But if you can't find that vertical and horizontal, then chances are pretty good. You're not going to notice that it's not quite keystone properly. So I wouldn't worry about it too much if you don't have that. Um, otherwise, just use your eyes. You know, your eyes are a really good judge of what's straight and what's crooked. So we click apply. And this looks great. However, she's stretched and it's still a little crooked. So how do I fix this? So there, again, we can go in and use the rotation tool and try and fiddle with this, but it's pretty much straight. Um, we can adjust the, this uh, ourselves. So if we need to bend it a bit. So I think I'm looking at the top and bottom here and you just kind of wiggle with it and try and figure out what makes the most sense for you. Uh, it's this horizontal one that's that's killing me. So that's looking pretty close, something like that. And uh, if we click off of the tool so we can kind of see what we're seeing, this looks good. However, she's a little narrow now. And that's what this aspect slider is for. So this allows us to come back in and restretch the frame so that it's appropriate. Now, this is, again, we're working with raw data here. So we're not really going to cause ourselves a big heartache. We're not coming up with all kinds of crazy things that are happening to the sharpness of the image because we are dealing with a raw a raw file. So uh, this is a really cool tool and it solved my problem for me. I was able to finally get it to the point where I liked it and I saved it as a preset uh, for this image. And this is what I came up with. 
and it's pretty darn close. And I still have a little bit of wiggling around with it to do now that I'm looking at it. But you know, we're really, really close there. Uh, so that has rescued for me what would have been a completely crooked image. By the way, you can use this tool uh, this way as well. It's smart enough to know if you wanted to go vertical or horizontal with it. Um, so yeah, obviously you keep straightening it like that, you're gonna fight yourself, but that's that looks really good to me. So it's all straight now, everything's vertical, she doesn't look oblong or she doesn't look squashed. Uh, you know, this 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 little cool tool here did take some time for me to find the right value. And I, I thinking about it now, I think that if I were to uh, add another mask or another layer on here inside of Capture One with say a rectangle or a circle or something in my eye, I know looks correct. So when I go in and modify that, um, that it would squish uh, that rectangle or that circle. Now I have to experiment with that to see if that actually how that works. But uh, this was a very handy tool for me today. And this aspect slider says they saved the day because I wasn't able to straighten this and get it to work without her getting squished. Uh, so now I'm quite happy with it and I can go back and, and start my review process and begin retouching the image. So I wanted to share that with you today because it was kind of a challenge for me. I walked into this situation kind of like, oh, how am I going to solve this problem? And the tools were already there. Um, I just had to fiddle with them a bit to find the right values uh, that made sense to me. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, uh, give it a thumbs up and I appreciate it. And I will catch you next time.